And uh, you yourself, what, what's your specific involvement to do? I'm the chairman of the Swayville Hall Committee. I'm also the guide leader here at the Village Hall. What do you hope to achieve uh, by the end of the day? What, what's your kind of what's your, your aim? Uh, it's well, two aims really. One is uh, making money for the different organisations like the church, the Browners, the guides that are down here, and also to get the village together uh, as a village. <laughs> a very important thing to do actually getting the, the village together I mean one of the things that's uh, very strong in Yorkshire is that kind of community feeling isn't it do you, do you feel that in Williams yes we certainly try and keep the uh, community spirit going you know, with all the new housing and people coming in and, and, and try and get events going so they can come and feel part of the village um, I'm going to come to uh, Rebecca and Lucy now you're both um, guides and um, so you're you're involved in today that's right isn't it yeah and what is it that you've done for today's events For a guide badge, is that the, what, is it a particular badge you're after? Um, it helps with the, it's the guiding centenary this year and um, we have a, a special guiding centenary challenge badge and one of the uh, clauses we can do is to try and serve 100 teas. So hopefully we're going to serve 100 cream teas today. <laughs> do you know how many you're up to at the moment? So, so a fair few to go. Well, I dare say, given the weather outside, I'll be back down to uh, buy one to myself later on. Um, Lucy, just very quickly, you've got a, you've got a competition that you're doing today to do with a, um, a teddy bear. Do you want to just say a few words about how that's working? Fantastic. How much does it cost to enter that? A pound. There we go. Well, best of luck, girls, with your, uh, with your fundraising. Thank you very much, Maxine. For How did that go then, Ian? I thought that went very well, yes. Are you uh, enjoying yourself so far? I'm having a great time. We've just been out of Lancet Barn this morning and um, used the equipment a lot. Really enjoying it, having a, having a good time doing the interviews. Yeah. Go and try and find someone else. Andy Riley at the Hollywood Swing Gala, and I'm talking to. David Gill. David Gill. Okay, David. Uh, what do you think of the gala today? Well, we're all having lots of fun. I've flown a welly. Didn't go very far, but there you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, they're setting for a ducking stool over in that direction. You just need to know that later. I'll have to see what my son say. Uh, <laughs> Although it'll be mighty cold on a day like this, won't it? It will be rolling to hell still on Saturday, wouldn't it? Yes, it will. The weather's certainly been very changeable. <laughs> um, is this the first time that you've been? Yes, we moved to the area um, just under a year ago, so this is the first one I've been to. Excellent. Uh, would you say that an event like this is important to, to the community? I would, yes. There's lots of people out and um, we're having a good time. So, uh, well, there's a number of people that I've seen around but not spoken to before, so mm. um, perhaps I can speak to them today. Get to know, get to know them a bit better. Jeremy, we're all a big fan of your ice creams. Um, can you tell us a little bit about how you got started? Uh, yeah, we started in uh, July 2008. Uh, we decided we were looking into making ice cream for a couple of years before we actually started. Uh, and then people started to say, well, you know, we buy your milk and cream, why don't you start making something else like cheese or yogurt or ice cream? So I went on an ice cream course and I decided that we'd give it a go. You've won awards, haven't you? I think, uh, was it your licorice ice cream that's uh, awarded best flavour of all time or got the yeah. highest score ever or something? Yeah, we won, uh, we won three in London. Uh, that was through um, uh, a great taste awards. And then we also won uh, Deliciously Yorkshire. Uh, it was actually classed outstanding and uh, we uh, achieved the highest score that um, 
products have uh, actually been going in the 10 years that it's been. Now we're here at uh, Hoyland Sweet and Gala today. The weather's not being kind to you, is it? Particularly given that you're selling ice cream. No, not at all. No, we've just had a hailstorm as well, so uh, we're a little bit wet and a little bit cold, but we'll keep going. And have people been buying them today? Certainly, yeah. We're, we're doing the milkshakes as well, so milkshakes are selling. And uh, yeah, the ice cream is selling people. But, we're hardy people in Yorkshire, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, we are. Um, last question, you probably get asked this an awful lot. What's your personal favourite flavour of ice cream? Well, as you approached us, I was just eating some of my own ice cream. It's actually eaten this. It's a uh, fantastic flavour. There you go, you heard it here first. So if you uh, fancy some of the uh, Yorkshire ice cream, you go off and eat the mess. That's the company director's favourite. Uh, Jeremy, thank you very much for talking to us. Yeah, you're Enjoying your milkshake, Jimbo? I'm enjoying my yummy Yorkshire milkshake. It's very nice. It's made with real ice cream as well, not not the, the saucy stuff. Uh -huh. Real, really nice. Uh, a milkshake fan, and that is amazing. I might have to do a few drives there and get one especially. Hi, Hi this is Andy Riley talking to Sam Rains from Venice New Farmers. Alright, Sam. Uh, okay, tell us a little about what you're doing here at the gala. Uh, yeah, we're doing uh, barbecue and that. But food and uh, ducking school there where we're up, we're going to get on it next 10 minutes or so now that sun's come out, rain's gone. Uh, we're going to get off white, we're going to get in there, uh, wandering wet. <laughs> So um, is this uh, your first time at the Peniston, uh, sorry, at the Hoyland's Wayne Gala? No, no, we've been before, we've uh, been there for the last two or three years, uh, and then we've got more involved helping uh, set it up a bit and bring more stuff, we've got bigger stuff, so it's good. And uh, how important do you think an event like this is for the community of Hoyland's Way? Oh, it's really, really attracts, attracts all the community out, and everybody else from around the local area, and that's really good, it's, it's good to show what the community can get together and do. Yeah, that's great, Sam. Thank you. This is Ian Frank, Sam. I'm just uh, talking about my man the treasure of the deep car brass band. Uh, Paul, can you talk about the deep band or what do you do? Yes, uh, as a one of the relatively new South Yorkshire uh, brass bands. We were only formed in 1988, whereas a lot of uh, brass bands in this region are over 100 years old, so uh, we are relatively young in, uh, in that respect. We started off in 88 as a uh, very much a, a youngsters band where, where uh, kids were trained from the local area, that's Stockbridge and Deep Car, Bolsa Stone, and uh, over the years it's sort of evolved into a more grown-up band but we've still retained our training elements and so we still teach very much uh, on the Monday evenings uh, children, uh, even experienced or mature people who want to either come back into brass banding uh, having played in the past or, um, or people who want to start fresh. Basically if you can blow you can uh, learn to play and so we still teach and many of the players today have come from, from the ranks of the uh, learners as indeed I did uh, many years ago. So uh, we've retained that ethos whereas a lot of South Yorkshire bands don't train at all now. No, the, 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 there are some who go the more down the kind of performing and shows and things, don't yeah. so How many members have you got? There are uh, upwards of 40. Uh, a brass band, when it's got a full complement, and it's a contesting band, has to have 25 brass players, plus up to three cushionists. So the maximum a brass band can have if it's registered for contest is 20. Okay, and if people are interested in getting involved, what should they do? Well, the easiest way is to turn up at Deep Car Village Hall on uh, Monday nights at 6 o'clock. I'm the one of the, the main trainers. Uh, of, uh, of the learners, so 6 o'clock, Helliwell Lane, uh, at the top of Deep Park, up near the golf course, and we're there every Sunday. <laughs> so what have you bought then, Ian? Oh, well, just, just a load of, I mean these, these ones you see, they're great because they're just, basically you've just got about maybe half a dozen tracks on them, a dozen tracks, and like, Looking through them, I've probably got most of them, but just the one or two that I haven't got. I mean, 20 pence, even if it's only for two or three tracks, you know, it's cheaper than you can get off iTunes, isn't it? So, mm. Don't tell me wife, though. <laughs> <laughs>